Hey guys, this book is called King Louie Cats. King Louie Cats by Dr. Seuss. Way back in the olden golden days, in the year 139, a fancy cat named Louie was the king of Kratzenstein. King Louie was a proud cat, mighty proud of his royal tail. He had it washed every morning in a ten-gallon golden pail. There's King Louie, there's the golden pail, and they are washing it with a brush. I, most of the cats I know do not like to get wet, so we'll see how this goes. My tail is such a lovely tail, King Louis used to brag. My tail must never touch the earth, my tail must never drag. So Louis cats made Fooey cats follow him around, and Fooey kept the kingly thing from dragging on the ground. That's Louis, and that's Fooey, and Louis, or Fooey is holding Louis's tail. Oh, I think I know where this is going. Well, all was fine in Katzenstein, the king's tail wasn't dragging. But one day Fooey looked behind and saw his was sagging. My lovely tail, he sighed with pride. Oh, this will never do. If Louie has his tail held up, I'm going to have mine too. So Fooey cats made Cooey cats follow him around. And Cooey cats kept Fooey's tail from dragging on the ground. So there's Louie, there's Fooey, and there's Cooey. Now all was fine in Kratzenstein till Cooey's pride was hurt when he discovered his fine tail was dragging in the dirt. So Cooey made, made a cat named Chewy follow him around, and Chewy cats kept Cooey's tail from dragging on the ground. Let's see if we can remember their names. Louie, Fooey, Cooey, and Chewy. This is not going to go well if I keep doing this, so keep, keep your remembering hats on and we'll just see what happens. And so it went in Katzenstein. Next, Chewy Cats got Hooey, and Hooey Cats got Bluey Cats, and Bluey Cats got Pruey. Till all the cats in Katzenstein were hiking round and round, all keeping one another's tails from dragging on the ground. All proud, except for one small cat. The last cat in the line. The last, last cat of all the cats that lived in Katzenstein. A most unhappy little cat named Cooey Cats and Bine. His cat, his t his tail would never be held up, and poor old Zooey knew it, because holding up a cat's tail takes another cat to do it. Poor Zooey got so awfully mad that he could have spit, but he did a far, far braver thing. He simply yelled, I quit! Well, that is pretty brave, huh? That was what seemed like the best thing for him to do at the time. I cannot, shall not, will not lug this stupid thing around. He slammed the tail of Pruey Cats. He slammed it on the ground. That's mean. That was a little too aggressive in my opinion. But it did rhyme. Then Pruey Cats slammed Bluey's tail and Bluey Cats slammed Hooey's. And Hooey Cats slammed Chewy's tail and Chewy Cats slammed Cooey's. All the tail and cats sign were slammed, including Proud King Louie's. Ooh. Yeah, this guy who thought he was better than everybody else. And since that day in Kratzenstein, all cats have been more grown up. They're all more democratic because each cat holds his own up. Oh, see, look, that's very... Why didn't they think of this before? If you can do it yourself, do it yourself. You don't need help. The end. Thanks for reading with me. What do you think was the point of that story? Maybe that could be it. I love you guys. Bye.